Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi. I welcome you to our today's lesson and we are continuing with the constructing dichotomous keys for identification. So today we are going to have uh, various illustrations that we use in plants uh, in identification. Uh, during our last lesson we mentioned uh, something like the leaf type. How can we be able to illustrate and uh, differentiate the different types of leaves? Also we talked about the leaf arrangement. How can we be able to uh, differentiate by use of a diagram the various uh, leaf arrangements? So we shall be illustrations on features of identification in plants So we are going to start with uh, the leaf type and on the leaf type we shall have a simple leaf So this is an example of a simple leaf as a simple leaf. Then when it comes now to the compound uh, leaves, we have different types of compound leaves. So this is a compound leaf that uh, we refer to as a, a trifoliate. This is a compound trifoliate uh, leaf because at the end or at the terminal end of the branch we have three leaflets. Has three leaflets as a trifoliate. This is a leaflet. That's not a leaf. We have, a le we have leaflets in compound leaves. Uh, then we have, uh, can have another one. So these are still a compound leaf that looks like the palm of the hand with five leaflets. We call these a palmate or a digitate. And we are saying that this one has five leaflets at the terminal end. So we have a trifoliate, we have a palmate, we still have another type.
So another type of a compound leaf whereby we have uh, from the midrib, we have a leaflet on either side. So we refer to these as a pinet. These are compound pinet. So all these, we have compound trifoliate, compound palmate, col compound pinet, and then we have another one. So we have another type, and this is a, a compound bipinate. And the bipinate is whereby from the main stalk, we have another branching before you get to the leaflet. So we branch twice, once. We branch from the main stalk once, twice before we get to the leaflet. So the pinate from the main stalk, we only branch once, we get to the leaflet. So this one branching twice from the midrib to the leaflet once, twice, we call it a bipinate. So we have, uh, these are compound leaves. So the simple leaf, this one is not complicated, it's just the normal leaf uh, that has the various parts that we can be able to Label, we have the leaf apex, we have the petiole, we have the midrib, we have uh, the veins, we have the leaf margin, we have the leaf blade also known as the lamina. So basically that's a simple leaf with those uh, uh, parts. And then we have now all these are various types of compound leaves. So there are those that are trifoliate, they have three uh, leaflets. Uh, there is the palmate that has five leaflets. We have the pinate that has only one branching from the midrib, you get to the leaflet, and the bipinate that uh, you have two branchings from the midrib so that you can get to the, to the leaflet. So that is as far as the, the leaf type is concerned. Then we can uh, look at another illustration for identification. We can use a leaf arrangement so you may have a, a stem there and the leaves are opposite each other So the leaf arrangement, this is opposite. We can also have uh, then we can also have uh, a situation whereby they are alternate. They are alternating. On the stem, if one leaf is on that end, the other one is a distance away on the alternate side. So this is uh, alternate 
uh, leaf arrangement and then the third type of leaf arrangement So we have uh, leaves emerging from the same spot, one to the left, one to the center, and one to the right. We refer to these as the hold arrangement. So basically, uh, we have uh, seen illustrations on features of identification in plants, uh, targeting the uh, leaf type, the, comp the simple and the compound, the various types of compound. So these features, we only apply them in compound leaves, the four features that you've seen there. Uh, then uh, we have also been able to identify the features that are found in terms of the leaf arrangement, opposite arrangement, alternate arrangement, or hold arrangement. So at that point, we can have an assignment. So the assignment, number one, are distinguish between a simple leaf and a compound leaf. Number two, name and illustrate four types of compound leaves. Uh, to illustrate is by use of a diagram. And number three, identify three patterns of leaf phylotaxy. Three patterns of leaf phylotaxy. We'll stop there until next time. Goodbye.